are much more than just the framework of our body. They are living dynamic tissues that play a crucial role in our overall well-being. From providing structure and protection to our vital organs, to enabling mobility and storing essential minerals, bones are integral to our daily lives. I am your host and host, Dr. Sargam Soni and welcome to yet another episode of Health Point. Bone health is a lifelong commitment requiring attention and care at every single stage of life. From building a strong foundation in early years to adapting lifestyle choices in adulthood and taking preventive measures in old age, particularly for postmenopausal women. So today we have with us Dr. Ram Chadda, who is the president of Indian Orthopedic Association to discuss with us this vital aspect of health in young individuals. We welcome you Dr. Chadda. Could you please tell us the significance of bone as a biomaterial? Bone is an extraordinary biomaterial. Unmatched in its adaptability, structural dynamics and metabolic activity. It's incredibly strong and tough, constantly modifying and regenerating itself. It happens whether or not there is any mechanical loading, leading to a formation, maintenance or resorption of the bone mass. It's all about the balance and coordination of osteoblasts, which deposit bone matrix, and osteoclasts, which resorb it. The process ensures any damaged or unnecessary bone material to be replaced with new robust material. Even a small imbalance in this system can lead to conditions like osteopenia, or osteoporosis, highlighting the critical importance of bone health. And sir, could you tell us how does calcium intake affect this process? Calcium is a fundamental mineral in bone health. It's the key raw material for bone formation, combining with phosphate to form the mineral component of bone with the collagen. The collagen is a scaffold constructed by osteoblasts, but calcium's role isn't limited to bones alone. It's also crucial for nerve function, muscle contraction, heart electrophysiology, intracellular signaling, and coagulation. Maintaining a stable extracellular calcium concentration is therefore a very high priority for our body. Thank you, sir, for these amazing and invaluable insights. Now, let's see what the other doctors have to say. Bone are amazing part of our body that do a lot more than just holding us up. They are like a support system protecting our organs, storing important minerals and helping us to move around. When we are born, our bones start off as a soft material and that gradually hardens. It's like cartilage which gradually converts into a bone. And as kid and teenager, our bone grow really fast. Which is why we need lot of good stuff like calcium, vitamin D to help them get strong and healthy. This is super important because the bone, more bone mass we build uh, when we are young, the better off we will be as we get older. We all know that bone is very important, which not only gives skeletal support to our body, metabolically it is very essential to maintain influx and outflux of calcium ions to the bloodstream. It is very vital for cellular function of all organs, including muscle action. Bone mass can be built to the maximum till the age of adolescent and adulthood till the middle of third decade. To build the bone mass, calcium is the superhero. Dietary supplement of the calcium can be done by taking milk and milk products, green leaf vegetables, if required, direct calcium vitamin D supplements in the form of tablets and syrups. Taking care of our bones is a lifelong journey as we've just seen. And calcium plays a starring role in this story. That's all for now. This is your host and those Dr. Sargam Soni signing off. Till then, keep watching Health Point, strengthening every stage of life. Thank you.